What's up? So you are looking for some badass bass tone and you're thinking Ampeg, SVT, but you're like, yo, that's... <laughs> Yo, what's up? You're here because you must be on a crazy bass quest like I have been lately. And you know that the Ampeg SVT is a super badass tone that costs a lot, weighs a lot, and is ridiculously loud. So you might be wondering how other amps stack up. Well, I have had the Ampeg PF50T all tube amp for a while, and I've been pretty happy with it. Um, but I have a really cool opportunity to compare that with a true Ampeg SVT Classic, a made in the USA version. Um, and I also have a Ampeg 810 Classic, also made in USA, one of the, the good ones. Um, thanks to my buddy Kevin in Sorizon, also a touring member of Sunflower Dead. What's up, Evil Seeds? Um, so I'm borrowing this bass rig and I can compare it with my smaller, lighter, easier amp. And also I'm going to compare the 810 with an impulse response or IR that I've created. For these tracks, you're going to hear my newish Music Man Stingray Special 5 bass, which I love. I recorded the direct signal of that bass and then I'm reamping exactly the same signal into these different amp combinations. So when you compare the PF50T to the SVT Classic, there's a lot of big differences. Um, they are both all tube, but the SVT has four times, the SVT has six times the power, it's four times the weight, and it's double the cost. So a pretty big difference. Um, it's not fun to move around. And of course, uh, the convenience between the huge cab versus the impulse response is a massive difference. Um, I'm using my Saint Rock React IR load box, which is super kick-ass. And in that load, with that load box, you get software to create your own IRs, and that's how I made my IR here. The three things we're comparing are the SVT Classic with the real cab, SVT with the IR, and also the PF50T with the IR. So we're gonna do a blind shootout. You're just gonna see um, tone A, B, C. There's four different sections. Some sections, it's easier to hear a difference than others, so I recommend listening to all of them before you make your call. And yeah, check it out and let me know in the comments what you think is which, and if you think the differences are big enough to um, justify the, the massive difference in cost and weight and, and all that. So let's listen to the clips. Alright, you heard the clips. Could you hear it clearly? Um, did I get close? My strategy was dialing in a good tone with the SVT and then trying to match the PF50T as close as I could to that sound. Um, I think, without saying which is which, I think the difference between the amps is fairly clear. 
but the difference between the IR and the real cab is really close, so I'm really stoked about that. Um, my base quest continues. I actually just ordered an Ampeg V4B, so I'm gonna see how that stacks up. I'm hoping that it's a nice in-between, gets me kick-ass tone at a little bit less of the weight and um, size and cost as a SVT Classic. So stick around if you wanna see how the V4B compares to the SVT Classic. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in um, getting that IR. I'm in the process of making a set of base IRs using this uh, USA SVT uh, Classic 810 cab. So this IR that you heard, as well as other IRs, um, will be included in that pack. And if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll definitely uh, learn how to get it. And I always give away some IRs too. So yeah, subscribe. There's more bass stuff coming. And of course, a ton of crazy guitar tone chasing coming as well. So thanks for listening. Let me know what you think is which, which sound you think is which rig in the um, comments. And I'll answer there and reveal the truth if you can handle it. All right. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. Peace.